I always say that Canva is one of my top five can't live without apps. And that's because they're always innovating, updating, and adding new features all the time. But not just their own internal features or their own internal tools, but all of the other amazing third-party apps that you can use directly within Canva itself. Now, Canva always adds new apps all the time. So if you don't see one of your favorite on here right now, let me know in the comments. So the first one I want to look at today is a pretty cool one specifically for logo design and creation. What we're going to do is just over here in the search bar, we're going to type in the one we're going to use and then simply logo maker. Okay. Now there we have it. Here it is over here on the left-hand side, logo maker. Click this. And as you can see, it says professional brand logos made easy. What we're going to do is just open it up in a brand new design. But once we're here, here's where all the magic happens. Now over here on the left-hand side, top left corner, all you have to do is just describe what you want in that prompt box. It says that describe the logo you want, include words, objects, colors, and shapes. Okay. So let's try this. So I'm going to say a uh, purple and blue gradient lion. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. And now just like that, there is an amazing looking logo. It's exactly what I was looking for. It's clean. It's a flat vector style logo. However, I do want to get rid of the background. I don't want that square. That's not a problem at all. All you have to do now is just click on the photo itself. Now in the top left hand corner, select edit photo. Once you select edit photo on the left hand side underneath magic studio, you'll notice background remove. It says BG remover. And now in my opinion, Canva has the best background remover tool out there. Okay. So once we have the photo selected, now just simply click on background remover, just one click and watch how clean this is. Instantly it happens. And now we have this cool looking, nice, clean vector style lion logo. And now before we move on to the next one, I just want to remind you, if you haven't tried Canva pro yet, you definitely want to make sure you have Canva pro. It's well worth the money. In my opinion, it's the best bang for the buck out there. There'll be a link in my description so you can get 30 days to try Canva Pro for free. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. And this one is also a favorite of mine. It's relatively new, but it's called Type Gradient. So again, I'm going to search for it over here in the search bar. Elevate your designs with text gradients. So basically, just by simply typing in any form of text, it's going to create a nice gradient fill in of the words or the letters in your text. Okay, so I have it open on the left hand side. Look at this right here. We're going to go with anything we want. Okay. So here's the main text. And so I replaced it with my own. And then you could see it says, check the links in the description. Okay. So if I wanted to add this design, I just simply select add to this design. Now look at this right here. This is perfect. Now I have that nice gradient text. However, I can remove it. Now the cool thing about this is over here on the left hand side, I can completely change up my font. And so Canva has a lot of really cool fonts. So I have a different one selected now, and it's going to change the font. Okay. And then there it is on the left hand side, but notice one thing, the spacing is a little bit too jumbled up. Well, that's where on the left hand side, this toggle bar called line height comes in. So I can just toggle it left or right, and it'll make the spacing closer or more far apart. If I like it now, select add design. Now look at this completely different look because I have a different style of font and you can go down the board and go through all these different fonts and change things up to really get what you're looking for. And now look at this. That looks amazing. Add to my design. And now here it is right here. Perfect. That's all you have to do. Okay. Now moving on to the next one. This one is called open rep AI social media caption generator, basically create unique posts, optimize using AI. Each post is uniquely optimized for each social media platform. Okay. So we could look at some of these examples right here and it really is quite simple. So let's go ahead and then try this one out in a new design. Okay. Now, again, once I have it opened on the left-hand side is where all the magic will happen. And this is where you can select all these pretty cool presets. So at the top, I have anything from informative to website clicks to newsletter sign up. Let's try website clicks. Then I can select my tone. I have everything from authority authoritative and expert all the way down to casual and comedic. And then in my description is how you're going to explain what sort of post or text you want. So just type in something simple. So what I did was just type something in my description. Quite simple. I provide a mega prompts database with over 2,100 prompts. This is an awesome value because you'll have lifetime access and I add new prompts every single day. Now just type in who your audience is. And I just typed in people interested in AI chat GPT and then prompting. Now, once that's done, now 
come down here and then just choose your social networks. As you can see, I have two chosen. I have Facebook and I have X. You can have more than one chosen. I'm going to select these two. Once you have everything ready to go now, down here at the bottom, just select generate captions. Just give it a few seconds and now, just like this, look at this on the left hand side. Everything magically appears. So, we have one for Facebook and then we have these over here for Twitter. If I select see more, you could see it's going to provide me with a pretty cool tweet that I could use. And then you could see it does the same thing above with the Facebook pages one. I think that's pretty cool how you could just give it a topic and then let the AI do all the work for you. It's essentially like a chat GPT directly from within Canva, specifically for social media content. Okay, now sticking with the same sort of topic, this next one is called Social Bellow, your content creation companion. Craft engaging content using prompts, receive on the spot AI feedback and turn your ideas into captivating narratives. Okay, so we can look at this right here and let's go ahead and now try this in the new design too. see how this works. So over here on the left hand side, you're going to select what you're looking for. So we have everything from assistant, article, blog post, discussion, and email. So what sort of topic or what sort of information piece? What's the category we're looking for? Let's select blog post. Okay, now all you want to do over here in keywords or topics is just simply type in your main subject point of what you want this to be about. So I'll just type in what my keywords will be, how you can use AI to create content, blog posts, and then create AI images. So I have, you can see on the left hand side, it's going to utilize 130 tokens, but that's okay because I have over 4,800. Once you're done, select create content, give it a few seconds, and then you're going to have this content just magically appear. And then look at that, just like this over here on the left hand side, we get a relatively long post. We have our title, and then we have the whole entire post over here on the left hand side. If you're happy with that, you can select add to design. If you're not happy with that, notice on the left hand side, the prompt box now appears at the bottom. It says enter a prompt to continue creating. So if I wanted to make this even longer, that's exactly where I'll put this. So I'll come down here and I'll say add another heading, continue writing to make longer. Now I'll select send. And then after I press send, it's going to automatically do exactly what I asked it to do. Now look at this right here. There it is. So we have our first piece right there. It's pretty long. And now we have a more detailed version. It continues by adding this number six. And then I go down and adds even more. Once it looks good, just select add to design and then there it is right there that's just the first portion but it's added to my design just like that okay so moving on to the next one this one's pretty fun to work with it's called emoji artist okay emoji artist craft your own emojis describe the emoji you like to make and we'll craft a unique one for you okay so basically all you have to do just give it a brief description of what kind of emoji you want and then like that it's going to make one for you so let's try that i have it selected left hand side again describe your emoji Okay, so my description is a panda bear wearing a hoodie. Go ahead and select generate. And now this all happens pretty quickly and it's gonna populate right there on your page right in front of you. And then there we have it, just like that. There is our panda bear wearing a hoodie. And now remember again, if you wanna remove the background, select edit photo and now select background remover tool. Just like that, now you have a transparent panda wearing a hoodie that you can use. And now check this out, look what's even cooler. Notice the panda, it got the text spelled correctly it actually says panda on his hoodie that's pretty impressive okay now moving on to the next one this one is called image upscaler it basically is what it says elevate your image resolution with AI okay use a new design now I've covered another one of these before in Canva but I think this one does a pretty good job so all you have to do is just now select the photo that you want now on the left hand side you notice it says upscale options limited your image is already high resolution so it is already high resolution because this is actually an AI generated photo. With that said, if it wasn't high res, that's where you could select your upscale amount anywhere between 2x, 3x, 4x, and even 8x. But since mine's already somewhat high, 2x is the default option. So select upscale image. It might take about a minute, but once it's done, it really does do a pretty good job. Over here again on the left hand side is where you have this new toggle bar that you could slide back and forth. The left hand side is going to be before, the right hand side is going to be after. Once it's done, just expand it by dragging the corners 
And now looking at this, I have to tell you 100%, this is definitely upscaled. The resolution looks better and then it's much more clearer. So, this next one is another pretty fun and cool one to use. It's called Illusionist. Design stunning images with hidden patterns. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and select use in a new design. And then all you have to do right here on the left hand side is just give it a brief scene description and then you're going to select this sort of pattern. You only have three to choose from, but it's still cool nonetheless. I'll just type in a dystopian city and I'll select this heart pattern. And then once you hit generate, give it a few seconds or a minute or two and it will appear immediately. Okay, not bad. You can see one version right here, but that's not the best one I've gotten so far. So let's try this one more time. Okay, and then here's the next one I did for a tropical island, but then it has that sort of blue shade of water in the form of a heart right there. So that's a pretty cool thing. Now this next one is pretty cool. It's a little bit difficult to use, but the concept is really unique. It's called can sign. Easily draw your signature and add it to your design in seconds. You can just sign your name and then immediately it will appear. So new design. Again, over here on the left hand side, you can see this pad over here. All you have to do is simply just write down your signature. Then once I'm over here and I'm clicked in it, just start signing your name. And then once you have a signature, just select add to design. And now just like that, you actually have your signature added to anything that you're looking for. And then you could even change the color. And now I can add this to my design. So I have two in two different colors to choose from. Okay, so now this next one is pretty cool. It's called anime -fi. Bring your photos to life with anime style. Once I have it opened over here on the left hand side, all you have to do is just upload a photo. And what I did was I'll come in here and I actually added a photo of myself. So let's see how good it can do in generating an anime style photo of myself. Okay, and uh, there I am right there. So not bad, didn't get it exactly right, but nonetheless, it's pretty good. Let's try one more. Now this time I uploaded a AI generated photo of a woman that I made in Leonardo AI. So let's see how good of a job she does. Okay, now this one did a very good job. So here is the actual photo that I uploaded and you can see it did a pretty good job. It even got her finger over her mouth the correct way and it definitely is into a anime style version. Now sticking along the same sort of thing, there's another app called Cartoonify and there's actually a few of these. So the one we just used was called Animify. There's one, like I'm showing you on your screen right now, it's called Cartoonify. So it's gonna turn your photos into fun cartoons. But then there's also one called Futurify. And so you can see what Futurify does is elevate your images to the neon lit future. Okay, now moving on to our last but not least one. This is called Easy Reflections. Adding reflections is now easier than ever. Add reflections to your designs in just a few clicks. So you can elevate product shots, add depth to your portraits, and enhance your creative graphics with realistic reflection effects. Okay, pretty cool. We have one of a sun setting, but then you could also see the reflection in the water of the sun, and then even in this little land mass, and then even the sailboat has a nice little reflection. Let's try it in a new design. There is my shoe. I'm gonna edit the photo to remove the background of this shoe first. And then once I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape to it, just so I could see if this reflection will stand out. I'll position it again, my shape behind my shoe. So now the shoe is going to be front and center. Now, once I'm ready for this, we're going to try create a reflection. All you have to do is have the image clicked on like so. Then on the left hand side, just simply select create reflection. And then you could choose four options below, above, left or right. I'll just go with below and now I'll select add to design. Okay, there it is. It added it right here. And then I can expand it, make it a little bit larger to where it's going to match the shoe size perfectly. And then there is my shoe reflection. Okay, not bad. Now, if I need to adjust the opacity of it, I could do that. So I'll delete this one, but this time I'll bring the opacity down on the left and now I'll add design again. And then there we have it. There is a even better reflection just like this, perfectly done. And now we have a shoe reflection made. I think this is a pretty good idea, especially if you wanna bring a little bit more life or add that 3D effect to any sort of like e-commerce or product type photos. Okay, so there you you have it. There are again some pretty cool Canva apps that you should try for yourself. Now don't forget, I'll put a link in my description. If you don't have Canva Pro yet, I highly recommend it. There's a link to get 30 days for free. That way you could try it for yourself. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos comes out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up,